So today I've got Dr. Rajesh here, retired anesthetist, and he's come for a lesson and he's been following me on YouTube. So for a few years. For a few years. years, okay. Tell me what you've learned from my YouTube videos. Well, I've learned virtually everything I know about bonsai. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, to branch principle being one that is being <laughs> repeated a lot of okay. the time and also how to get a taper, okay. how to grow plants in the okay. soil. So and this is your first tree that you worked with me, so it looks very nice, I'm sure you agree. Thank you. So uh, you've got good natural talent, you're very dexterous with your hands and you've got a lot of common sense. So you were telling me that, uh, why do you like the way I teach bonsai? Well, if you're not dogmatic, I, I, the worst thing, I mean, gardening or bonsai is a practical skill. It's like a surgeon trying to te teach people how to cut by using theories. Oh. It, it's useless. You have to, you have to practice practical oh. Oh. and say there are no hard and fast rules, but there are things that guidelines. Mm -hmm. You follow them, you understand it, then you work it. And adapt it. Yes. Okay, right, good. That's a very good attitude to take. Now I've set you, because you're quite good, I find. Now we've found this you from the nursery. We have lots of these. So this is going to be your challenge. And I want to just see the way you think, because obviously you have a very um, logical mind and very logical approach to doing things. So if we come closer, cameraman, to see the tree, it's growing very healthy. You see our trees. What is beautiful? Tell me what is the well, good points about this tree? There's a big trunk here which tapers down quite well. We, we, we'll see that as we go. There are two big roots, but on either side there is a gap, which yeah. is not the ideal. There's no root yeah. flare as such but which I hope will come. Yes. And there are gaps between the branches which yes. are also not too good. Uh -huh. But being a U, uh -huh. I hope if we give some light, it will probably branch out again okay. as well, fill up. So okay. it won't be a final thing, it will be an interim. Okay, thing. so how do you propose to tackle this tree? Of course, the trunk is so stiff, it's very hard to bend it, so yeah, it's going I, to be a straight. I, I think it's going to be a uh, formal upright. Yes. Uh, because it's too late for yes. causing any bends. Okay. And uh, that's not a bad thing. I like formal uprights. Okay. And uh, particularly conifers give a very good, uh, are, are good subjects for formal uprights. Mm -hmm because most of them go st grow okay. straight and uh, now this all right is have to go i'll give you tools you can use what you wish and let me see how you proceed and then i will guide you as you go along so the 12 secretors is yours right a felica expensive okay do you need all this? No. I think I'll start with the haircut. Okay, good. Very good. Which I have found uh, by watching a certain master's videos. He always <laughs> starts by a haircut. <laughs> okay. This is what I call distraction. You know, all those big branches can be very distracting. It makes the plant grow strong, but at some point, for bonsai, we don't need it all. So you are very right. We begin by cutting all the extraneous things off to make it less confusing. There's a branch here which okay. is causing distraction from the stem. Okay. You won't be able to see the stem. These, by the way, you can make cuttings. Use propagate from cuttings very easily. They also propagate from seed very easily. Yeah, I, I propagate from greenwood cuttings. Yes, okay. I think the height is too much, but Still. I'm going to okay. not too yeah. drastic at this yeah. point in time. I need to use a saw for that. Some broken branches which 
Okay. So I had to decide what I'm going to keep here and what I'm not going to. Now, there's a huge branch here, which is almost the same thickness as the stem, and it's also beginning to cause a bit of reverse step or inverse step. You prefer inverse. Inverse prefer, step. I prefer reverse. Yes, the same thing. <laughs> so I, I would like to remove this with a saw, this branch. Okay, but before you do that, this is not just another point of view. Rather than remove it, we can make a gin with that feature because yeah. evergreens have a lot of gin. So yeah. that entire thick branch, rather than cutting, we're going to strip it to make gin. But we will do that when we finish the design. Yeah. So, I so think to begin with, if we can uh, continue removing all that dross from the top. This, no, I have to decide. This branch will stay. Remember this that we use thin go. branches, yeah. okay? Thin branches this, this are more in proportion. One of these will stay. Another one. All the thick branches, the one tip is that we are going to remove, uh, not remove it, we are going to keep it for making gin. Gin, yeah. gin and Yamadori. Uh, I would get rid of these to get. Japanese yes. words I have <laughs> learned from you. Yeah. Gin. Only thing is, I sometimes mix them up with. Uh, culinary terms, the other Japanese words I know, teriyaki. <laughs> oh. yeah, nice, teriyaki is nice. Okay, in fact, you find yew trees growing na naturally like this, isn't it? A lot of people it go, just put it in a pot, you see, get, it, it get a bonsai. Okay, but we're not talking of that. We're trying to make it look a tree with branches, discernible branches. <laughs> no. I think this is going to be the first branch because this is going to be a gin. This one, and then I have two, three branches right on top of each other, which are actually sort of doing nice, producing a nice taper, but they are all in line. Okay. So that that branch, and I have to keep. Possibly not at the same level, a little higher up, this one, coming backwards. And this is a branch from that one. So, unless we keep that as a back branch and gin this bit, but there are branches here. The branches here. This is too thick. Can you see the overall design from yes. that mass of branches? For instance, the overall height of the tree and all that. Can you envisage it? Overall height is going to okay. be Okay. Yes, I would agree. Because from here. Yes. To here. Okay. Yes. Why don't you reduce those top branches? <coughs> So it's less confusing. Now I am a bit concerned about one one decision. I have a choice here of what I'm going to keep as the uh, apex. Uh -huh. I think this probably is a better one because there's again a slight inverse taper uh -huh. developing here. So if I cut this bit. Now, before you cut, remember that because it's an evergreen, there's lots of possibilities for gin. Yeah. This tree is going to have a lot of gins. So don't cut it off, but reduce it. But don't cut it off because you might regret yeah. it. Yes, that's the other thing you told me. You, can, you can't put them back. Yeah, OK. You can cut them, but can't put them back. Right, okay, so we have decided on okay. the apex, which is this. Now, this can be, now I think oh, some of the smaller branches would be better because compared to that, this is quite thick, so is this. Uh, going to get rid of these. And 
that's confusing. Yeah, take the confusing bits off. The things that are obviously not going to be used, you can take off. But don't take off too much because we can always use it for gins. Yeah. Just a little so tip. Now. Some of these, if it's too long, you can yeah. reduce the length of those. Okay. You agree? Yeah. Okay. So because now I know this is going to be there. Bit, okay. And it's got it hasn't got much of a, a movement, but then it's we've decided it's going okay. to be a formal upright. Yes. So movement is not. But this is a lovely branch because it's thin. This yes. Problem, yes. We can keep that. Yes. So the logic always is we use thin branches rather than thick branches for the structure of the tree because the contrast between the thick and the thin will make the trunk look thicker. Yeah. I have learned some lessons. Very good, yes. No, I can see. I can see. You are very confident. I like it. Don't remove too much. Right. Okay. So, now I have to... I think... I decide to... I'm going to gin them. So there's too many even for that. And uh, we'll have to strip the bark off this bit. So that okay. And I'm going to take this one off. Okay, all right. Okay. Don't take any more so, from the so, top because so those... now we know. Yeah, that's those are use, usable. That's, okay. That's my top. That's my apex. So the apex, I have nice little branches. I have to decide of this, on this cluster now. Now we need to find the usable branches and what we decide not to use we're going to gin, okay? Yeah, so this is coming, well I have to use this probably as the front for the simple reason. This is even worse, this is going in right. Okay. So I would like to say this as the front. I'm going to use it at slightly angled so okay. that this is going to be a gene but they're not coming Now straight. another little tip, yes. I see your fingers on this root here, yeah. don't get rid of it because you can gin that yeah. and make it quite dramatic, you know, even the roots can be ginned. So bear that in mind, so don't rush to take it off, don't gin it just yet but just bear that in mind, so just bear that in mind. So I'm just wondering if I can gin this bit and keep this. Okay, very good, branch. very good. Excellent. And this yes, very nice. Very nice. Why don't you wire those two now? Yeah. Wire those two now and then we proceed oh, a step oh, at oh, a there time. Is a, there's another one going yes, good, very good. Yes, yes. I like the way you are analyzing. So I'm going to remove this. Good. Okay. I learned from you that Felcos produce a little notch. You have a Felco? Yeah. Very nice. It is, without doubt, the best secretaries in the world. I'm not an agent of Felco, but it is, without doubt, the best. A lot of copies. A lot of copies, but none like that. don't last half as long. And also, they are poor copies quite Yeah, different. especially the ones made in China. Yes. As they say in life, you get what you pay for. Yeah. You get what you pay for. So at this stage, I should just explain, we're trying to find usable branches, wiring them in place, the very thick branches are going to be ginned, so that is the plan of action. Right, so. Okay, you want to gin that. Okay, show me how you do it and I will guide you along. I have learned from my master to first cut. Be careful, try and. Okay. Diagonally. Now, before you do that, we must determine which is going to be our front. Where's the front of the tree? Somewhere here, like so. I think somewhere here. All right, okay. So the cut has to be their back because it's going to tear from the front. I suggest you keep the gins about this long, two, three inches long. Yeah. Maybe better to use a branch cutter. Let me lend you a branch cutter. Uh, okay. 
So we are going to gin this portion. So before Rajesh works on that, I'm going to show you the best approach. So the bulk of it, the wood is this. So anything that extraneous, these live foliage, we are not going to use. So we're going to get rid of those. Make it simpler so it's not so confusing. There's a nice lump of wood here which is all going to be ginned. So even this is going to be ginned, all the foliage we get rid of. So we're going to make that look dead. If we remove all the foliage then you can see what you're going to gin. Yeah? So this entire portion is going to be ginned. All this foliage that belongs to this, this thick branch is going to be ginned. But we, are, we okay. have to keep this bit. Okay, right. so you've achieved not very much by doing that. Okay, so we're yeah. going to keep all these little bits to gin. So, uh, no, 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 don't jump the gun. Don't jump the gun. No, don't jump the gun. We are going to strip each of these bits of wood by doing a diagonal cut there and then we will break it off. The gin class is really for removing the bark. Don't do that yet. So we're going to do that. Each of those we are going to do like that. So that one also, with the best thing is to use the branch cutter. Where's my branch cutter? Here. So we, I'll show you. From the back, you make a sloping cut, like so, sloping cut like so. Can you see? Like that? So that initiates the break. And then once you made the break, don't try to do it the tool, just break it off and then rip it. Then you rip it down. And then that the torn effect will be there. Can you see? Can you see that lovely torn effect? Yes. Just comes from ripping the park. Alright? So all these you have to actually do methodically if it is very thin you can use the scissors but where you can't use the scissors you have to use that branch cutter so again with the branch don't use that gentle yet so again with the branch cutter you make a small cut and, break. and then break and then break with the finger like you you try that all these little ends you do exactly the same thing don't attempt to use the gin class yet Oh, ah, too, no, too much, just a tiny bit, usually one third. Usually when the one third, this is where you've got to be like a microsurgeon. Ah, yeah, very good, just like that, just like that. Tiny bit and then break, break towards the front. Okay, so same with these. So this, you see what you've done? You achieved not very much, you know. No. <laughs> so they keep breaking those. Don't do that yet, let's remove all that, remove all that all that before you do anything careful very gently eh, too much very little bit yeah okay so it's just to initiate it and then break it okay now that you've done it okay we're going to take the gin back up to here even that one has to be gin you see that that one that can be gin Ah, probably too much. Too dead. much. No, no, no. Oops. It's probably already dead. No, but even if it's dead, oh. you can still do it. It's, yeah, it and then dead. this bit also, you, okay, we're oh, using that. That's yeah. the, out of the way. This okay. Okay. Now, you can use the gin plus next to remove the bark. Don't yeah. attempt to, just by doing that, crush the bark. Yeah. Crush the bark and take the bark away and stop it there. Crush the bark. Don't attempt to remove wood, just by crushing bark, all the, all the bark. Yeah, live wood is crushed very easily and the bark will remove very easily, it's just slide off. Don't break the wood, just remove the bark. You can see you're very eager, but <laughs> hold your... I can't, yeah. Eagerness. I have this thing can't do fast enough. <laughs> A bit like you when it comes to. Okay, now crush the bark of that and remove the bark. 
Yeah. And then you can assist it with a little knife or bring a little Stanley knife or something. There's also a tool we can use. <coughs> You see, that's the effect we want, the white effect. Huh? Very nice. Okay, now remove the rest of the bark in the front here, this, this bit here. Yeah. It's like surgery, isn't it? Surgery <laughs> probably easier. Easier! <laughs> So by now I have done a checklist. <laughs> very good, very I good. Stick myself to minor things. I don't do. Don't remove the wood. You're only removing the bark. You can also I need that lime. No, not at this stage. <laughs> Don't worry about all Sometimes. that. See, the, see, with that you can even scrape the bark. Lime. The thing is to remove the bark. Yeah. Okay, yeah, all that bark it's you can. Lime sulfur. Sulfur. In fact, lime sulfur has got a lot of sulfuric acid. Is H two S O four mixed with uh, yeah. sulfur? Yeah, it's it highly been acidic. Been very dangerous stuff. Burns. Yeah, H T S O four. Sulfuric acid. No wonder people are using gloves and glasses with there. Okay. And then from the top there. You want to keep a bit of light there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See see already looking nice, huh? So that is yeah. the way you do a gin. So rather than to remove that branch completely we're going to make a feature of that lovely thing see already with a small tree yeah. this is looking very good huh? you must admit okay this is good. so where we have the genie it must be shown if you got it we said if you have it don't hide it you know you got to show it so we're going to make sure we don't hide flaunt that too it. much yeah flaunt it okay flaunt it okay now we're going to keep that now the rest of that we will keep. Okay, that's looking very nice. Can you see? Beautiful effect, huh? Beautiful effect like that. Little bit of ginger, partly shown, partly visible, partly visible. So now we let's find some next branches to uh, do. Uh, maybe this can also be ginger. Huh? Yeah. So why don't you do an exercise? Do a slit there at the back and then pull it forward and you do a gin from here from the back there yeah. make a sloping cut away from the trunk that's right about one third or half cut through one third or half and then when it's in it's to initiate the break and then you rip it careful you don't hurt your hand huh? oops i got it okay stuck. very good very good excellent I think okay. I wanted to tear now, rather oh. than go too far. Uh, okay, you've done it. That's good. There, oh, yeah? How nice that that's is. Ah, oh, beautiful. Ah. Okay, so now that one also, at the back there, this one. you cut back and then tear that forward. So at least you've learned how to do gin properly, huh? Yeah, that's one thing I never, ever tried. Okay, you enjoying it? Yes. Good. Very good. Because after some of my uh, casualties at uh, conifers yeah. last year, I went on to more deciduous plants oh. because they are more forgiving. <laughs> I was cheating. <laughs> so, I haven't mm. attempted to because of that. Mm. So what started off as a huge bush 
we're going to remove about 90% of the foliage and end up with 10% or maybe less, maybe less, but it will give the effect of a very big, massive tree, tree that you find growing in Arizona or places like be, that. thing is, this looks like it's coming straight. At no, it'll be for the side. We're going to look yeah. at it from the side yeah. like yeah. so, okay, yeah. so at the side. Now so we need to have something here, here. Yeah, that's right. And okay. I think this would be the better one. Okay. If I remove these two side branches, let it me, will also taper as it goes down. Let me just see. We got that there. I'm looking all the time for thin branches to use. Mm. Thin branches to use. Now, I notice here, if you, cameraman, if you come close, these thick branches there, these can also be ginned. These we are going to gin. Okay, these two thick ones we will gin. So why don't we uh, get rid of those and gin those as well. So you have a lot of exercise practicing your gins. Like practicing a foreign language. Every little bit that we're removing, we're simplifying the structure. The, the structure. So you're reducing the complication. Okay, so we're going to do gins here. So make a little cut there, little cut there, and pull it back. Ooh, too much. Even that is too much. Uh, one third is the ideal, huh? One third is ideal when you lift it. The object is to break it forward. So, so let's show you, there's quite a lot of gin coming on that tree. And it's already looking like a great big sequoia. So this is not even halfway there, but we will get there. We're going to try and show you an instant bonsai. Oh, gin is looking very nice. First time doing gin. Very good. Very good attempt. So we're making more gins. More gins. We need some tonic later. That's it. So that congestion, we're going to use a better tool. Use, use this. Shorten those and we're going to gin that clump. Usually if with these big bushy trees, many people never think of making it small and delicate using thick branches. They always try to use the thick branches, but that doesn't work. Yeah, when this tree is finished, you'll see everything so will be in proportion. Thick, they, they, the tree looks uh, small. Yeah. That's one of the things I learned from that uh, master of bonsai who does some video. In. Like the two branch principle. <laughs> Same. Cut it shorter and then. Uh, okay, all right, good. Pulling and tearing is. Can help it with the jeep. Remove the extraneous stuff. It gives better effect. Now, this, this needs.
So we're making all these congested yeah, branches is. into gins because we can't have the foliage there. So we're going to reduce the visual bulk by having gins which are more delicate. You can watch 100 hours of video, but you can't really learn how to do it. Unless you practice. Unless you do it. That's right. It's all practicals uh, like that. It's a bit like this intensive one. care, I suppose. Okay, from the back, I remember, from the back. Yeah, not there from the front. That's why they say that a lot of my videos, they say you have life lessons. It's amazing how much you can adapt all these techniques to other things, isn't it? All, all things, yeah. it's like the, all of life. It's about, if you understand, if you think from the principle. Back. Ah, from the back. That, if you understand the principle, you can use it. If you learn the, That's right. the end bit. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Now remove the bulk. Yeah. You can use with a standy knife that you find the knife is quite enough. Good. Scrape it off. Do not go too far? Yeah. Because That's you right. want to keep the life away. Yeah. There. This side can go a little bit further. You it'll, like the gin effects, huh? Yeah, it'll, it'll need to grow a little bit. Yeah. And maybe this could, no, it's too stiff. Front. Okay, so, so you're going to gin this from there to there? Yeah, I'm going to. Yeah, very good. Yeah, absolutely right. Perfect. Sloping cut. Yeah. And then help it either with the gin plus or with your hand. Try the hand first. You can no. just slip it. I'm not as strong as I used to think I was. Okay, now crush the bark with the gin plus. It's actually coming off without being crushed. I think I'd be tempted to put a little sphagnum moss with <laughs> okay, yeah. uh, hormone there yeah. when, when, uh, when, if, if I were going to pot it up. For the simple reason, I, I think that root flare can be developed. Yeah. Because there's something here. Yes. It, it, it's, it's, so it's, it's still not, com it's not a complete. Okay. Thing. Look at it. That's a beautiful. The, all the proportions are right. You happy with it? Yes. Yes. Huh? Yes. It's Did you expect it to be like this? No. Never. <laughs> the push eyes. Huh? You happy? So it, it is really good. Okay. Okay, we'll put it in a bigger training pot for now because we can't cut any root yeah. and let it develop and then we will... That pot is too big. No, 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 we'll get you a plastic bonsai pot and then we will see the finished product. So this is the finished product and here is Dr. Rajesh, proud owner of this tree and he's, I would say you've done 75% of the work, maybe more. So tell me what are your thoughts, you know, did oh. you expect it to be like this? By the way, my name is Ranjit. Oh, Ranjit, sorry, I thought <laughs> the, the secretary told uh, me it was Ranjit. Yeah. Ranjit, okay. Uh, the, uh, yes, I learned a lot from this one. For, uh, it was a bush, it was a uh, massive big thing and I couldn't see the wood for the trees. <laughs> so <laughs> having analyzed the thing, I, really, I just discovered it had a superb taper. It's the roof flare is not too good. I don't know what that nibari. Nibari yes. is not very good, but uh, you managed to, I think, create something well, with Peter's uh, critical eye, uh, which will 
process, a very good one. Yeah, so it looks like a big tree because we've used thin branches. So that contrasts with the trunk. So it looks like a really massive old redwood. You find a lot of redwoods like this. So this is that sort of redwood image and we've reduced the height. So everything is about scale. So we've tried to maintain the scale of the tree. So this is one of the most uh, interesting one-to-one -one workshops I've done with Ranjit. So I'm really pleased with it. So I hope you are pleased as well. I am, Peter. Okay. Thank you. More than I expected. Okay. A lot. So hopefully, with your permission, I will use it on YouTube. Okay.